Hi everyone, Christopher here from Thinko with yet another video from the performance series. Today we are going to talk about managing the third party or various plugins that you have installed on your WordPress installation and be able to load those plugins and the assets of the plugins such as the CSS files and JavaScript files selectively for your page. So you will be able to decide whether you want to load a specific plugin for the particular page you are working on or not. We are going to introduce you with the tools that you can uh, just measure the performance of the page and a tool to manage those plugins. So let's get started. I used the built-in content builder of Pro to create this page and I just loaded some templates from Design Cloud. The top section contains two columns and then it has this card elements, a video and the creative columns template and I used normal elements available in the content builder and nothing else. So this page does not have anything extra in regards of the third party plugins. It does not have any sliders, any contact forms and uh, this kind of stuff. So if I check the website on the front end of the website, here it is. And if I enable the Google developer toolbar, I will get more information about the page. I right click on a page and select the inspect option. Then I'm going to select the audit tab. This is the built-in function of the Google developer toolbar to be able to measure the performance of the page. If you do not see the audit tab, you may need to install the Lighthouse uh, extension for the Google Chrome browser. In the audit tab, I just disabled uh, the extra options that the extension provider such as a pro progressive web app or best practices or accessibility i am interesting interested in the performance so i just check the performance and at this moment i uh, like to uh, check the desktop mode and not the mobile device so i hit this generate report button to uh, help get information of the page and provide me some uh, reporting about the performance. Great. Now if I check the performance information, there are a few metrics that I can check. The first one is the first uh, contentful paint or the first meaningful paint. This is the amount of time it takes to uh, just load and um, just paint the first byte of the page itself and it took me 16 seconds to uh, load the page which is a great deal of time and there are more information that you can uh, get from this performance tool and uh, it is a very uh, it has a very bad performance because of the uh, long period of time that it takes to load the page the other point that i want to mention is the resources that it took to uh, load the page. If I go to sources tab of the uh, Google Chrome developer toolbar and check uh, the website, specifically the wp-content folder, I can see that uh, there is a plugin folder and there are many files that are loaded uh, which are dependent uh, to the plugins that I already have installed and activated. So for example, this is the contact form 7 related files and there is a script as you can see and the essential grid plugin also uh, just loaded a setting CSS and also uh, uh, font related CSS and the modern event calendar plugin which is another uh, plugin that I use uh, throughout the website. It loads many JS and CSS files. Also the revolution slider plugin. But uh, I do not use those plugins on my page. So it is logical that I find a way to 
uh, avoid loading these additional CSS and JavaScript files when I do not need them for a page. This will have a huge impact uh, on the performance of my page which I use. Uh, to be able to control the loading of the plugins that I have uh, installed on my WordPress, I use uh, this plugin called uh, plugin load filter plugin which I installed on my WordPress installation. You can uh, search for other plugins if you are familiar with but I prefer to use this plugin to decide which uh, plugin of WordPress I want to load depending on the need of my page. So if I go to the plugins page of WordPress I have already installed the uh, plugin filter, plugin load filter, so I activate that. Okay, now it is activated, and under the plugins menu, I have access to plugins load filter menu item. Okay, the way that uh, this plugin works is that it loads all the list of the plugins that you have already installed on your WordPress installation and you activated them. So I have these plugins already activated. Contact Form 7, Essential Grid, Modern Events, Calendar, uh, the same plugin that now you see, and uh, Slider Revolution. If I want to selectively uh, just choose which plugin to load for a page, I need to uh, force the plugins to load in a page type mode. So I just change the loading system to page type and click the filter entry button to make sure that my changes are saved. I keep the plugin itself to load normally. Then if I go to page type filter activation, I will see uh, different options that I can have to load the page. If I want to uh, load the plugins on a page or attach page, search page, archive page, home page, or maybe different post types that's uh, available. For example, we uh, in Pro has uh, standard post, image post, gallery post, and this kind of stuff. So you can decide whether you want to load uh, the plugins uh, for a specific uh, page type or page or not. And then you can choose if the plugin is loaded in a desktop uh, device or mobile device. So the thing that I've done is I loaded the plugins for all pages and then uh, decided to load both for desktop devices and mobile devices. So I click the activate plugin entry button to make sure that my uh, settings are saved. Now, if I go and reload the page, and go to the Sources tab and WP Content, you can see that there is no plugin folder and none of the plugin uh, assets are loaded at the moment because I uh, selected, uh, I enabled the uh, plugin and selected uh, this mode of uh, adding the plugin. Now uh, I need to go to pages and the page that uh, I've added which is called performance content. There is an option available for me at the right hand side for the page filter plugin that I can select if I want to use uh, the uh, any plugin that I want for uh, the page that I've created or not. For example, if I enable the contact form 7 and save and update the page, as soon as I load the reload the page this time, I will be able to see the content of the contact form 7 plugin added uh, to my page. So the script is now added. 
So it depends on the way that I added the page. If I have a contact form and I use the contact form 7 for my page, this is the logical course of action. But uh, in my page, I do not have uh, any uh, usage of the contact form 7 or any other plugin that is listed here. So I just prefer to not load any assets of these plugins. And the result is a very much cleaner and faster page because there is no uh, additional assets added to the page. Now if I go to audit tab and again general, uh, generate the report of the performance, uh, I should see a significant uh, improvement for the load time of the page. Okay, great. Now see the difference. Uh, in the previous audit, it took 16 seconds to load the page. Now it's just about 10 seconds. So we saved six seconds of uh, time to uh, just load uh, the, the page. This is a great way that you can improve your uh, page speed to be able to uh, just make your uh, pages load very fast by uh, using the uh, plugin loader plugin and also test the performance using the audit tab. Okay, thank you guys and talk to you soon.